What's up everyone, welcome to this sport update. So I know I'm late with this transfer news, deadline day is over, but I was out before so I couldn't make a video. Sorry for the unregular setup right now, I have to make a quick video. So I just wanted to get this video out there really quick for you guys and talk about the biggest headlines. So first, Mesut Ozil is going to Arsenal. Obviously we know that deal is beneficial. Uh, obviously all these deals are official, but we knew that was going to happen. 42.5 million pounds, almost 50 million euros. I think that's a good price. Um, I mean, I think it's a little bit too pricey, but uh, definitely expensive, but he's a quality player, German international, he can score goals in the midfield, he can control the midfield, assist, he's going to be with Santi Cazorla as well as Jack Wilshire, so uh, Arsenal's improved, I'm, I'm afraid a little bit that they've gotten much better with this, in the midfield at least, but they've definitely improved their squad with this signing, um, and for Napoli fans, it's not that great of news because they're in our group, so... Arsenal, great signing for them in Mazut Ozil. Manchester United made one signing. They got Marouane Fellaini after failing to sign Ender Herrera because of tax reasons or paperwork reasons. Sammy Kadir, there's a rumor they made a bid for him. I don't know if that was true, but they did not get him. Fabio Contrao as well. They thought it was a done deal. England thought it was a done deal. Spain said it wasn't. Uh, turns out, as of right now, they didn't get the paperwork there in time. So, Contrao still at Real Madrid. But they signed Marouane Fellaini for £27.5 million. I think they should have probably offered uh, D Daniel De Rossi to, uh, you know, just offered Roma a little bit more because if they're going to pay that price, I think De Rossi is a better player. But Fellini as well, he's a good player, good midfielder. Hopefully he can score some goals for them, make things happen. West Brom signed uh, Stefan uh, Sassignon as well as Victor Anichibi. I hope they said that right. From Sunderland and Everton respectively, both um, club records as well. Peter Odenwing, he's finally out of West Brom. He's going to Cardiff City, so hopefully he has a successful career there. Score some goals. Fabio Borini is going from Liverpool to Sunderland on loan. And then Andrea uh, Docena as well from, from Napoli. He didn't have room in our squad, so he's going to Sunderland. I wish him well there. And then the, the team who has done the best business, I would say, this whole transfer deadline day is Everton, in my opinion. Um, Everton... Got Romelu Lukaku on a season-long loan, which I find a little shocking. I thought he was going to stay at Chelsea, but I guess with Eto, they're going to have Eto as the number one striker, or he's going to switch on and off with Fernando Torres. They also have options to play false nine, so we'll see what that has, how that happens. They also have uh, James McCarthy, who they signed for a replacement as Fellaini. That's a great deal as well. He's a young player. And then they also got Gareth Barry from Manchester City. So, Everton, for me, are winners of this deadline day. So, let me know what your opinions, guys, are. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below. Um, just do me a favor and please subscribe and really support the channel. And that's it for this video. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my football reviews. Thank you.